We have the race for Erie County Sheriff, which will be coming down to the absentee ballots as John Garcia holds a lead of about 5,600 votes over Kim Beatty. Two on your side's Ron Plants has been looking into that one for us. So, Ron, what's the latest there? Mary Ellis, uh, again, about what 11,000, actually, we'll say 11,000 absentee ballots to count in this particular race. Erie County Republican leaders still very confident that their candidate, John Garcia, has been successful in his bid to become Erie County Sheriff to replace the longtime incumbent Republican Tim Howard. Garcia, the former Buffalo Police Narcotics Division Sergeant, definitely looked and sounded like he was victorious last night during his gathering in Grand Island with both Howard and former Sheriff and now State Senator Patrick Gallivan in attendance there. At last check, Garcia, as you pointed out, again, a margin of about 5,600 votes over Democrat Kim Beatty, who is the former Deputy Buffalo Police Commissioner and the Canisius College Public Safety Director. Uh, last night, Garcia crediting his law enforcement union support for making a big difference as he spoke. And we got some perspective on those remaining absentee ballot counts, which makes this race technically still close to call. I stand here confident tonight that the voters have spoken and they want professional 21st century law enforcement for the next four years and that's what they're going to get. Have you seen past trends there or anything? That I mean, the think? trends usually that the absentees follow the, the election results, so there's not a whole big deviation there. Um, we'll see if that's the case with this race. You know, it, it, it proved to be the case last year with some of our state legislative races. We did reach out to the Kim Beatty campaign. They're not issuing a statement at this time as they await the results with those absentee ballots. They're counting uh, the estimated 11,000 absentee ballots in this race on November 15th. That's when it'll begin when all the military and federal ballots will be in. They're not they're doing them all together, not piecemeal in batches. Now, there was concern for the Republicans with minor party candidate Ted Donato still in the race and the focus on the mayor's race, pulling Democrats to possibly vote for BD as well, but John Garcia was expected to get that strong GOP suburban vote and a strong vote from Buffalo's more conservative-leaning South District as well, which also went for Mayor Brown.